What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, bi-directional communications of or basically taking two um, CAN buses, may it be because they have a different bit rate, um, may it be an extension of a bus because it's getting too long and you may be airing out. Uh, nonetheless, it, basically taking two buses and bridging the communications together. It's so basically creating a repeater, almost, um, uses in the CAN triple. Uh, essentially, we'll take information from CAN 1 and put it on CAN 2 and take information from CAN 2 and apply it to CAN 1. And all we're just saying is, hey, information this way, let's send it that way. Information this way, let's send it that way. Let's keep this data going, right? I'm going to walk you through setting those things up today. Um, starting with basically downloading the package with, from GitHub all the way to operation. So let's get started. Uh, first, we'll go to the GitHub page. It's uh, just github.com slash Mitch detailed slash can triple. So you can take this and go code and just download the zip file. When you download the zip file, um, essentially mine has, uh, I'll have to copy and paste it. We'll open it up. I'm going to go to the desktop and see if we can copy it over here. Copy to desktop. All right. Got it copied. I'm going to take VS Code. Assuming you've opened up all the prerequisites and had all the prerequisites set up. I have mine. I'm going to close the folder so we can start from scratch. So if you started with a base... Layout, file, open folder. We're gonna go to the desktop. Oh, we're gonna go to the desktop and open up Cantrip. We can close the platform io.ini file. We'll go to source, user code.c. This is where we'll be working, working in. Uh, essentially, I have this default set up to bridging information from bus one to bus two, from bus two to bus three, and bus three to bus one. But we don't want to do that. We want to go from bus one to bus two and bus two to bus one. So essentially, this is some pre example data that I have set up. Uh, we can set the bit rate. Uh, for this instance, I have the bit rate set up as one megabit on both buses. So if I, if I really wanted to, we can, we can change it. So we'll set uh, CAN2 up to be 500K. All right, so I'll have to go edit my, uh, that's channel one, right? This should be channel two. All right, so we'll disconnect. We'll connect at 500K, 500K there. Click OK. And it is connected. We'll minimize that. That's our sanity check. Um, and we'll go from can two to can one. And... We're not going to start CAN 3. We're not going to utilize it. I don't want CAN termination on 1, 2, or 3. I'll comment that out as well. Um, we don't need to set the CAN bitrate for 3 either. Uh, I truly don't need the serial number, but it's okay. Um, and we can just take this package right here, delete, and we have facilitated um, our message bridging capability. So I'll do control alt B. That's to build it. It's also the check mark here down at the bottom left. It builds successfully. You can upload it with control alt U. Alternatively, it is that arrow key down here. All right, and it is attached. So I will go back and open up can one here, can two here, and you can see that we actually have data coming in. And I didn't, I didn't delete the example down here at the bottom. So we have, uh, we're sending messages of example data of, on bus one at ID one and on bus two at ID two. So let's see if that aligns up here. So it's bus one on I, on bus one, it's ID one and on bus two, it is ID two. So sweet. So we do have that situated. I'll go ahead and just uh, disable that and we'll, uh, we'll edit it as well. Boom, boom. Okay, all right, so that control alt U. Now we should not have anything presented. Cool, I can hit delete for that one, delete for that one. Now we don't have anything presented, only information from, let me edit this message. We're gonna say this message is 0101010101010101. Okay. I'm going to set the to 100 milliseconds. It is currently paused. That's fine. 
And this one is 02 at 222222. So if I plot this in, you'll see that it's updating at one second intervals, so to speak. And this one right here is updating at 100 millisecond intervals. So we have bidirectional communication working successfully as is like there. So very simple approach. It's a very basic approach, but it gets you understanding a little bit on the gist. I'm going to dive deeper into more videos with this and we can, we can take more information and apply it as well to try to, you know, kind of load up the network so you can see that this thing isn't, this isn't slacking by any means. Um, we'll take something and make it, I'm going to take the message here and just make it a uh, five, five, five. Five 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 five. All right, we're gonna send that at a thousand hertz, and you can see that we're still getting our thousand hertz message come over. You know, I'll pause it, and you'll see no delay really. So it works really well. Nonetheless, we'll dive deeper in more videos. This is kind of a generic explanation, trying to get your feet wet and understanding the aspects of it. And let's dive deeper into the next one. Until then, I'll see you soon.